What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Today, it's all for the love of Carmines. Air Jordan 6 Carmine. Um, and in the front here, we have the brand new 2021. Well, uh, we'll talk about the 2014, the original from 1991, and the newest version. Uh, first of all, I like to say that the new, the new retro is really nice. I do like it. I think they improved the shape on it a little bit. Um, I do have the tinted, you can kind of see it's, it's slightly, slightly tinted. It's not terrible on the midsole. Could be worse. Um, you know, a lot of people freaking out over that. It's not a huge deal if it turns more pink. I'll have it, you know, repainted probably, but for now they look good. Um, it's not a huge deal and they look good. Um, we'll go through some of the things I like that they did change and some of the things I wish they did. Um, so to start with, what I think they did a great job with is the Nike branding. So it's got a little more of an old school stitching look to it. Um, it's more bold. So for a reference that you can see is the 2019. So the black infrared in 2019, you can tell like the Nike is just, it's not, the font is not uh, as bold. They're both pretty refined, um, but it's just, it's just closer to the OG. Um, so they did make a nice, nice improvement there. And we'll talk next about um, some boxes. So the OG I have in the center here, uh, it is a size 10, but I did find a replacement box because it did not come with a box. So white, carmine, and black made in Korea. That pair is actually made in Taiwan from uh, Foot Locker, but at least it's, you know, it was a replacement box. The Jumpman's a little brighter red than the Retro. As you can see, it's really bright red. And this is a little more deep, deeper red. Um, and on both sides, again, the OG box has labeling. Oh, I'm sorry, on one side. And then we have the Carmine box from 2014. So I had the drop man on it. They actually did the plastic, like the uh, original release. And our 2021 box, you see the drop man is a little, it's a little brighter. Maybe just a little bit. So that is closer to the OG, which is nice. But the thing I did wish they did was put Nike Air, you know, as they did with the Fire Red 4 and 5. And, you know, the five box is very similar to this, obviously. So it would have been cool to see Nike Air here. I'm not sure why that was a call. It's a small, a small detail, but I like to have seen. So first we'll start with um, kind of a front shot. With this guy out here. Um, kind of a front shot. So we have the 2014 here. We have the original from 1991. Beautiful OG. And right here we have the 2021. So let's, we'll just take it from the top. So the tongs, the tongs pretty much the same height. I mean, it's not very different. People are saying the 2021's taller. I don't see it. I'm not going to yank on the OG, but you can tell even sitting there that it's taller. It's definitely taller. Another thing about the tongue on the original, you can see the vinyl, or not uh, nylon, not vinyl. It has a nylon stitching that goes over the top. For these two, it's just it's just solid rubber. The holes are a little smaller too. They make them they made them pretty big on the retros, so you can see the whole difference. With the uh, the pull on the tongue is a little it's a little smaller on the original. We got larger. Um, Perforation, the round holes here that go down the tongue. Uh, they're more narrow. This has, you know, definitely a different feeling to it. It feels really durable. Um, this one's a little, they're a little softer, I'd say, both the 2014 and the 2021. You see the perforations kind of come below down lower. Um, just the way kind of things are laid out. It's just a little, the shape's a little different. Smaller. You know, and then this one actually did come down a little lower. You can see the, the 2014 is a little wider also. I think they got the shape a little better on this one. We will go over the toe box. You can tell this toe box is definitely humped up more. They did improve the toe box in the 2021. I do, I do like that as well. Um, 
I don't have the lace locks for the OGs. They did not come with. So if anybody out there has got the OG lace locks or the Carmines, they can sell me separate. That'd be awesome. Um, but they did bring back, because you see, it's just got the Jumpman, the 2014. This one has Nike and Jumpman. So it's cool, just like the original. Um, but again, I don't have the original lace lock for this guy. Uh, let's see. And the red is a little, it's a little darker. These two are very close. Like, you know, it's really, really close here. The actual Durabuck red, it's a little deeper carmine on the original. But yeah, you can definitely see, like, this just looks a little wider. So the 20, yeah, the, wolf. Uh, the, uh, the uh, 2021, I think they did, you know, do a good job for um, all the shape and everything. So next we're going to take a rear end view. Um, start with the Nike branding. It's a little, you know, brighter red here. And on the 2014, the OG could have dulled out a little bit over the years. Obviously, it is a deeper red. The font is smaller, though. Um, it's definitely larger on the, the uh, 2021. Um, like even the Fire Red uh, 5 last year, and going back to the Black Metallics, you know, they've been putting the Nike branding on the heel, just larger in general. Um, and this just looks sad these days compared to these two. <laughs> um, the spoiler on the back, pull tab, Porsche inspired. Love me some Porsches. Um, pretty, pretty close, honestly. You know, it's a little, little darker red again. They're not, you know, nothing, you know, drastic to, to say. Um, but the ankle bubbles here are a little. They're a little thicker than they were. Obviously, they're pretty flat on the 2014, and pretty big cushion here on the uh, the OG. And we'll talk more about the bubbles and the surrounding area there later and again you can kind of tell that you know this tongue tag is or the tongue is a little a little taller where you see it says made in taiwan on the og and if it was korean it would say made in korea right there um when we come over to the top though it's kind of interesting because you can see that this is more you know aerodynamic they kind of got that back a little bit um but the thing that i don't like is how this is cut higher up the inner panel you can see this one ends a little shorter and this one's way out in front so it's kind of getting that whole sleek aerodynamic you get the low you know lower longer toe box on the originals that really affects it i think so i did notice that when this kind of runs together this one's set back further and then this one's actually further out uh, the leather on them you can see the leather is really smooth. This is synthetic. Um, not the greatest leather, but it's not terrible either. And on the 2014, it's just it's got a little more grain to it. It's a little softer, but it doesn't, you know, definitely has a grain. And this one, um, I would say the 2021 is closest to the OG with the leather, but you could just tell the quality is just it's just butter. It's awesome. Soft, you know, but that's you know again, it's like a durable leather. It's not not cheaply made, obviously, um, but it does it does have more of a smooth finish. So if I was going to say which leather is closer to the original, I would definitely go with the 2021. I'm going to also drop in photos um, of the insole stamps. <laughs> As you can see, you can maybe kind of poke in there and see the the original has red. You can kind of see there's a shadow, and I'll put the photos in there. Um, on the 2021, 20, they just did a black insole. And um, I really, you know, I really like to have seen, you know, a red insole on there would have been a nice little touch. And on the 2014, it's still just a black with the jump man. Um, but, you know, it's like, Going back to like the, the black metallics when they brought those back in I think it was 2016 and they they did the red insole it just made it look really good they hadn't done that before they got the tongue height better maybe a little too over padded but you know having the, the little details like that the insoles would have been perfect back the 2000 pair if I had the red insole even with the shorter tongue it would have been like really really you know almost perfect so just like the fire red is from that year um, so that's that's a few things that I noticed in um, again, you can see actually the nylon tongue here, the padding 
back underneath. So on the retros, it, it is very similar, but it just stops here. It doesn't actually wrap around. It's just rubber. See, they cut it right here. And you can see the same thing here. So here we go with the uh, toe to toe, no pun intended, on the toe box. And this is the 2014 on your left and your OG on the right. And you can see it's got definitely more humped. You know, it's just thicker, rounded off, more sleek aerodynamic on the original. The reds, you can see, you know, this is a little darker red, kind of looking at each shoe side by side. And um, it's just a beautiful shape here. So yeah, this one I'm definitely just gonna keep rocking and beating up. And then let's take a look at the 2021. You can see it's definitely, you know, a little more sleek. It's not perfect, but it's definitely lower. And the cuts and the shapes, you know, it's just a little, they're a little different on the original. I always uh, found it interesting when I was a kid, my, my original um, Air Jordan 6, I had the black infrareds and I'd always try to put my, put my finger in the air unit. <laughs> and uh, um, now you see they make them a little bigger. So kids can, you know, try to poke the air bubble a little easier. Um, but this was actually the shoe that I, uh, I saw in stores. I wanted the black infrareds and then I ended up going back to the car, you know, a week or two before Christmas. And I've told the story many times. I was crying to my parents. I wanted them so badly. And I, I did think about these for a second because I had just seen them in the store next to the black infrareds um, just before Christmas in 91. But um, yeah, it brings me back to, you know, JC Penney's in uh, Maryville, Indiana, seeing these in, in person, you know, maybe the first time that I really was checking them out to, to get a pair. So that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this shoe just definitely has some nostalgia outside of watching MJ playing them and uh, really cool. All right, we're going heel to heel now, and um, as you can see, this one does look like it's raised, but it's just it's just lifted off the table. It's the way the uneven outsoles put on by <laughs> Jordan Brand back in 2014. Um, they are pretty pretty level though. Um, so beyond that, one of my biggest like love for details on the original Air Jordan sixes is the ankle pod area. You see, this is stitched around. This one's even flatter than the OG. But then when you pan over to the right, you see it's inset here, way it was molded. So you have the stitching around, but then it's actually inset because of that full definition. And the, the ankle pads are definitely puffed up more. Another thing, um, these accents that come down between the lace holes, definitely more pronounced. Like, pops out. Looks awesome. And here, they're just kind of kind of there. They're not quite as... Um, quite as wide and they're not quite as visible. As it, if you guys ever noticed, um, this is backwards, but on this one, you can see this looks like a two, kind of an abstract two and a three. So again, like a two and then a three kind of going here. So pretty cool little tinker insider there. Coincidence? I think not. So again, this is 2014. We're going to swap out now and do a heel to heel with our brand new 2021. Let's see how this one sits on the table. Oh, look, it sits evenly and it's perfectly level. <laughs> okay, there's another improvement. Thank you, Jordan Brandt. Um, so yeah, you can see it's level. They're pretty even. Tongue height, let's just lift up. You know, I'm not going to pull too hard. This obviously is more fragile. Um, but you can see it's actually a little less rounded off, a little less definition. These are, are more rounded off, I should say. Not as, you know, this is almost squared to where you really see it. Um, and the other one that had a little bit more of a line indentation, not anything close to this. Um, and the perforated holes, a little larger. These are a little smaller. It just gives it that, I mean, it just looks bad. It looks amazing. It just looks like a tough, mean, ready to take on the Pistons and beat their asses look. You know, that's why I really like the OG. It just has that that vibe to it. It just looks like a tough shoe with lots of detail that looks awesome. So, um, again, the, 20, the 2021 is good. Um, I just wouldn't say it's quite there yet. 
but definitely definitely worth getting. All right, we're going to look at the outsole here now. Uh, so in the center, it's pretty obvious we have the OG, nicely oxidized. No, I did not paint these yellow. I'm not really into that. Um, dyeing my soles and coloring, stitching, and <laughs> whatever. Um, so here is the original um, oxidized. The, the Jumpman's a little brighter red. And you can see on the left side here, I did wear these a few times, so they're a little a little darker um, stained, you could say. Um, there's still definitely some blue to them. And that Jumpman's just a little, it's a, maybe just a tad darker than the OG. Now on the far right, we have the uh, 2021. And he's, he's maybe just a little, you know, it's close. He's just maybe just a tad darker. So I thought we'd show just all three outsoles. It's always nice to see the brand new icy outsole. And again, they, they do these blue soles so that it doesn't turn yellow as quickly. But now you have people painting their panels and their stitching where it never even yellows. So it's kind of funny. Um, so coming over the top, we can kind of see the air units, the midsole, the detail a little bit. And we'll just keep panning to the right here. So you guys can see the original. It's kind of yellowed back here a little bit more. It's definitely a, a smoother feel than here. This is smooth, but like the way that's is molded, kind of like how they molded the Durabuck on the um, black infrared. So when this was heated, it's it's just got a different finish and then maybe oxidized, you know, a little more quickly. So you kind of get that two tone um, oxidation where it's a little little darker here and a little lighter here. So just it looks beautiful. And then we have the 2021. So that's going to about do it for today. Um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. And again, we have on the far left, the 2014 Retro. And in the center, we have the OG, the standard, like Mike, um, 1991 Carmine. And then on the far right side, we have the 2021 Retro. So please like this video. Follow me on Instagram at OG or Bus and subscribe. And have a great one.